Pro model. I'll be using it for image analysis, aka vision, to see if ChatGPT can truly see and understand complex images. Let me tell you, this is nothing short of mind blowing. To start, I uploaded an image of a butterfly with images of snakes on its wings to see if it could identify the butterfly and tell me why it is so remarkable. It knew right away what kind of butterfly it is and recognized the snake images on its wings. Here I was thinking I could stump this computer and it told me things I didn't even know about it. In this video, I'll test its abilities to see images and chat with the new ChatGPT 4.0 model about these images. I'll go over how to use the features, some use cases, tips to get some good output, glance to the future of these image generators and analyzers with new multimodal capabilities like the ability to speak with AI in basically real time and also be able to upload images in the mobile app which can be handy when taking snapshots of items you need identified. Computer image analysis is nothing new. I was using Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, many years ago for a mostly reliable text output after scanning print pages like the pages of a book. But now I can upload or scan an image with cursive and the computer can read it. Google's reverse image search and sites like TinEye have been able to tell you what the image is if you upload it, or at least show similar images. Major feature of these chatbots is to be able to have a conversation about the image, ask follow-up questions, and even generate similar images if you need them. But this thing is something else. I uploaded an image of painting by French painter Henri Rousseau that has a number of monkeys in it, and one of them is hidden by ferns. I wanted to see if it could identify the hidden one. First off, it knew right away which painting it was, by who, the title, and the subject matter. It also analyzed the images, and it found a few of the monkeys, but it didn't find the completely hidden one. Still impressive, not perfect yet. But I believe it correctly identified the dark animal as a different species, and not a monkey, maybe a jaguar, which is something I didn't even realize. When I asked it how it could analyze these images, for some reason it says it doesn't, and it can't. That might be because the text chat is kind of separate from the image analysis and Dolly image creation. When you think about it, the chatbot you're talking with isn't actually looking at anything. It's just communicating with the computer outputs after the image analysis, if that makes sense. In ChatGPT 4.0, it's supposed to be multimodal, meaning you can use all of its features all at once, the voice, vision, text, so maybe it'll be able to appear more comprehensive later. Also, it's rumored that the image creation in 4.0 would be better, but that for right now, that's just a rumor. It does seem to keep getting better though. I wonder what could possibly be next, maybe full 3D renders? Video creation, like Sora Video Creator? Virtual reality? We'll just have to see. So the technology is marvelous, but what can you do with it? How do you use it? On the ChatGPT interface on desktop, click on the paperclip to upload a file, such as an image. On the mobile app, if you want to upload a file, you tap the folder, or for an image, tap the image icon, and then prompt it something, like, what is this thing? Or any other question you have about the image. Earlier I uploaded the butterfly, which the chatbot was able to identify, so that's one use case. It can identify species, and it can tell you what's so great about them, like the images on the butterfly wings. It can identify machines. Say you have an old typewriter and you need parts for it, don't know what the model is. This can work for an image of just about any machine you have. It can understand memes. Maybe you struggle to figure out why something is funny, or what the meaning of a meme is, or really what the meaning of any image is. I asked it why this meme is funny. It's a bit of an inside joke, so maybe if you haven't seen the Star Trek episode, you wouldn't know what it's about. But ChatGPT will explain it for you. How about playing games? Or developing them? Developing games using the ChatGPT API, having the computer be the AI opponent. Let's see if it can play hidden object games. Just how good is this thing? Well, let me tell you, it found all three hidden objects and all three of these images from some of my hidden object games. Granted, in the game there would be a bunch of different other objects, but I'm fairly confident this thing could be a formidable opponent. What else can you do with it? Remember the game Draw Something? At this point, I wouldn't be surprised to see an AI able to not only generate drawings in an amateur artist style, but to be able to guess the images drawn by real people. Other use cases, it can analyze data in charts, solve math problems, solve visual problems, Maybe someday we'll be able to make a medical diagnosis. Use at your own risk. I doubt that though, even though I think it does have the capability, that'd be just too much legal liability. But I think it can do it. A review of the 4.0 model 
as of May 17th, they're just rolling it out. So maybe I don't have the complete 4.0 model and maybe it's, it's not as good as it's going to be. Its answers so far tend to be more list oriented, which is more scannable rather than answering in a paragraph form. So that makes it easier to read, especially on mobile. Uh, but it takes something away from the conversational nature of the chatbot, which remember is a major feature. If I want a list of items, I can just Google it. I want it to talk to me about the topic, or at least with some topics. For example, the other models would have told me in paragraph form about what this movie's about and what its meanings are, the philosophy, and so forth. Instead, the 4.0 just lists everything. It's less personable. But I'm not trying to sell you on ChatGBT. I don't get any kind of a commission or anything. So let's do some comparison. In my opinion, Google's reverse image has been kind of not really great in recent years. It used to show the exact image almost all the time. But for some reason, they changed it so that it just shows you similar images most of the time. I find it hard to believe that Google of all companies doesn't know what an image is that I took off the internet. But not to knock on Google, because their new Gemini actually is pretty good. It's able to create pretty good images, and it also has image analysis capability. ChatGPT told me in quite detail about this typewriter. Gemini also got the typewriter right, but couldn't find too much information on this model. So maybe it's a little terse. Then again, maybe some people might say ChatGPT's answer was a bit verbose, adding a few extra extraneous information. But we'll have to see how this battle plays out among the big players, OpenAI, Google, Bing, Microsoft, and how they outdo each other. Who will bring fully 3D image generation to market first? Who will provide a decent video generator like Sora and at what cost to the computers? Right now, OpenAI has a free tier plus an enterprise tier. So there is limited usability for the Model 4.0 for the free tier. But since it's free, I recommend checking it out. And tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. See you next video.